Hi everyone, today I'll get some early keyboard prototypes dropped in front of me and I'll comment on some of them and the steps we've taken and what we were working on at the time. I hope you enjoy. Oof, very early stages. Um, in the very beginning when we test for what kinds of shapes would we want? What kind of products do we want to make? We tend to spend as little effort as possible uh, on making something that like, gives us even the roughest idea of what we're talking about. And that definitely shows that this is like a 10 minute work, you know? Um, but it does give us an idea of what we're talking about, that we're not talking about a full keyboard here. We're talking about a macro pad. Uh, the macro pad is built around the dial instead of having a dial as an add-on to the product. And it gives us an idea of how working with this could look, what kind of features could we map to it? What kind of things could we do um, to, to make use out of this? But this is, this is the kind of time where every day your idea looks different and every day what you're gonna build next is different. And um, yeah, once you look back at it, you don't wanna see it for too long anymore because it's really quite rough. We are now looking at the first version that was ever intended to be a keyboard. This is where we started testing out the different tenting mechanisms, the different shapes this would have to actually be usable as a full board, but still very early in terms of what features would we want to add. We were very clear on this being just a few things of what we wanted to do. There are no dock keys yet, nothing around the module yet. And this isn't even a module, this is a fully fixed part. So still really more of a dial with a few things attached compared to what we now know. So um, this is where the idea started to make this into an actual modular keyboard. So we now have different modules that slot into this um, and actually attach to the board and where the reversibility etc came in. We also now added dock keys but in a very strange way where they would curve around the module. Not a very functional way if we look at how well your thumb moves and the heat maps that generally uh, results in. Yeah. Okay, the development always involves some of the more experimental uh, ideas. Um, in this case, we wanted to test out if a key well would fit for a product of this type. So we tested out a lot with ductile menu forms and actually created quite a few of these where we integrated key wells with module slots. But we ultimately came to the decision that the benefits of a key well, lower key spacing, reachability, etc. Uh, had better ways of achieving them in a board that is geared towards this kind of field. And the problem with the key wells always ended up being that they are very unique to a specific hand and need to be customized really for every single board instead of having a broader applicable range of people due to how difficult it is to shift between keys and to move your hand around on these boards. Not to mention the much higher profile of the board in general. Okay, we're getting into something much more sensible now. This is actually now looking much closer to what we know. The uh, dock keys have been rearranged, now following actual heat maps have been shifted into good, um, good positions that are much more ergonomic. We still see the old pogo pin connectors uh, at a 45 degree angle and many of the shapes and sizes are not quite accurate to where we are now. But the number row is back in. We have uh, a Kyle switch, the PG1232, if I'm not mistaken, and the actual tinting. Uh, nope, never mind. <laughs> we had to glue this one. Okay, an engineering sample from the time of CES. So these were the boards that we first used to bring together our engineering on how things should work to how the parts should look. So much of the materials here are much closer to what we want to use in final production. Aluminum body, uh, everything being machined, etc. The keycaps now being uh, ABS instead of nylon and a lot of wires coming out from all ends for our development purposes and error testing. Yeah, a lot has changed. I think the most notable one will be that I find a B key on the right side here. But you probably know about this one. 
So as always with development between these two, we had uh, an additional version that showed everything as it should look in a final revision of the visual unit. But those units are still with our development partners in Taiwan, so we don't have them on location here to show you. But yeah, there were several iterations in between here where we really locked down every part of the final design. So despite these looking really close, there are several, several steps in between that we currently don't have here. Okay, a unit from the Kickstarter video. Yeah, still a lot of the production topics on this one that weren't perfect yet, but we are getting much closer to how the hinge mechanism should work, how some of the key arrangements are done. Uh, the production of the key caps is also much better on these. And of course, we have fixed some of the poker pin problems that have plagued us in early module development. So these were probably our most anticipated units at that point in time, because we really needed everything to be on spot for when we made the Kickstarter. But now we know that there will be some changes between this and the final version. There's still some work to be done on the pogo pins, and they have changed between this and our current engineering units. There's also still some work going on with the hinges, especially on the wing. And of course, always changes happening to the exact key layouts. But these are all sub-millimeter changes, so visually, this is pretty close. When we received these, we were still firmly in prototyping stages. By now, we have started our EVT and are looking forward to the next tooling steps and getting the first small production run set up in the next weeks. If you're curious to hear a bit more detail about all of these units, then check out the long-form podcast that we have uploaded before. Hey guys, thank you all for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we'd also like to invite you to our Discord channel, link in the description below, to continue the conversation. See you in the next one.